Hey there, I'm Douglas from DraftBit. In today's video, we're going to be exploring the tab view component. This is a versatile tool that allows you to switch between different views or sections inside your application using tabs. It's perfect when you want to organize your content across multiple screens without requiring the user to navigate away from the current screen. So how do we create this component? So we go ahead to this component tree, uh, we click add, then we search for the tab view. I will click the tab view. As you can see, when we click the tab view, it's going to create this uh, tab view component. And inside the tab view component, there's going to be a tab view item. This tab view item is like a view. Uh, this is uh, this represents the content that you'll be able to see uh, inside each individual tab. So right now we have one and then we inside this tab view item. So let's click that. Uh, then we go to data uh, inside that there's title then this icon so title is here where, you, where it says title we can change this title uh, to anything that we want so right now let's just say all uh, then we can have an icon so the icon can be anything that you want let's just say users And then you're able to see this. And then if we want to have other tabs uh, inside this tab view, we just click here where it says tab view. We click add. Then we have the tab view item. All right, so we have the second one. And then you're going to see it being applied here. We click again. We have the third one. And then let's uh, have a title and icon for the second one. So for the second one, we'll just say trending. We have an icon again. Yeah, let me just pick a random icon. Then for the last one, we can have uh, we can have it say popular. Then let's have another random icon. Yeah, and one thing about these tab view items. So think of these tab view items as a view component inside DraftBit. So basically what a view component is, it's a container that can hold other components inside it. So this tab view item can hold other components inside it. So right now let's have a text. And then let's get that text to say, uh, this is the O. Uh, tab all right then we copy that yeah it says this uh, let's go back to the tab view item and then I want to center it so here we just go to flex items we align it to the center and then we have that in the center uh, then we just want to do the same thing for our tab view item two so first let's center so here we're just saying whatever goes in here is going to be centered. Uh, let's have text. And then on data, we're going to say this is the trending tab. Uh, then on tab view three, we're going to have uh, our last bit of text. And then we're going to say this is the uh, popular tab. Just so when we're switching them in a bit, it becomes clear and it makes sense. Right, then we go again here and then we're going to center it. Uh, then let's close them up a bit so that everything becomes clean. Uh, let's go back to the tab view. So right now we have all trending and popular. Then how do we switch uh, between these uh, tabs? Uh, so one way to do it is to swipe. So we can swipe from uh, right to left, and then that takes us to the next one. Or we can click. So we come here, then we click all, then you see it takes us to all. We click trending, it takes us to trending. We click popular, it takes us to popular. And then next up, let's look at the styles. So let's go back to our tab view. So we click here, we go back to our tab view. Uh, then we come to the right side here, uh, where it says uh, style sheet. So these are component specific styles. So the first one is active color. So active color, uh, we're talking about, so when we click this tab, which tab is active, right? So here we can see that trending and popular, they're not active. Uh, the O, that's the one that is active. So 
what color do you want that to be? So we can say secondary, then we can see the color change. So the color is now changed. So that's how we change the color for that. Then we have this icon position. So uh, which position do you want your icon to be? So it can be top, right now it's top, it can be bottom, it can be left, or it can be right. So we'll just leave it at left. Uh, icon size, we can affect the size of the icon. Uh, inactive icon, so let's put red. So right now, uh, O is active, and then these two, they are inactive. So what color do you want the inactive to be? So here we can change that. Then the indicator color. So this is this uh, bottom border that you're seeing here uh, that indicates uh, which item is active. So we can affect that color. Then we have this tab bar position. Uh, so by default, when you create a tab view, it goes at the top. So we can change that to bottom, and then you see it's going to go to the bottom. So that's how we change that. All right, so let's uh, have it back at the top. Okay, then we have this tab background color. So this affects the background color of the tabs. Uh, let's pick a dark color so you can see. Then let's have that back to normal. Uh, up next, we have the configurations. So here we can have the comp component name. Uh, so right now it's just tab view. And then we have the keyboard dismiss. So here we have different options of how we want to dismiss the keyboard when these uh, tabs have been engaged. Uh, up next, we have swipe enabled. So swipe enabled, right now we're able to swipe between the tabs. Uh, we, we also have an option to disable this. And notice, now we're no longer able to swipe. We can only just click. Then we have tab scroll enabled. So sometimes, right now we have three. Sometimes we might have uh, so many uh, tab options that we run out of room. Uh, in those situations, we might need to use a tab scroll enabled. Uh, that allows us to be able to scroll through the tabs. Uh, up next, we have the data tab. Uh, so the data tab, uh, it has this thing called uh, initial tab index. So initial tab index, uh, we can specify uh, when our screen loads which tab are we going to initially open so the way that it works right now we have three tabs but then the way that it works is it starts from zero so the first tab is zero the second is one and the third one is two so that's how it works so if i say uh, i want you to open zero first so that means when the screen loads it's going to be clicked on all that will be the active tab if i click one trending is going to it's going to open on trending. So that's how we can affect that. Uh, then lastly, we have uh, interactions. So interactions we have on index changed. So this runs when the index changes. So going back to this, we have initial tab index. So each of these are on the left side. These are called indexes. So if it's on all, it's on index zero. Trending, index one. Popular, it's on index two. So if any of these changes, this trigger, it's going to run. So right now we know on O, and then we swipe, right? So that changes, so this is going to run. Uh, we go to popular, that changes, and this is going to run. So we click that, and then let, let me just show you. So if I say console log, and then in here I'll say item has been swiped. Yeah, this is just an example so you can see. And then we go, we go to web preview. Okay, so we have web preview open. Uh, we open the console logs down here. Uh, we clear everything so we have a clean uh, start. So now I'm on all. If I click trending tab, right, it say item has been swiped. If I click popular, it's going to say item has been swiped. So you see this two just means it ran the same thing again. So that's what happens. And then we're able to see that the trigger has been called. And then on end reached. So whenever we reach the end, uh, this is going to run. So yeah, basically, uh, that's it for uh, the tab view. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comment. Please like, uh, please share the video. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one.